guys, yo yo back again to get your slides amusing. This week's video is going to be a short one because I know you love those. It's going to discuss an important topic that I keep hearing time and time again. How do I pick the right colors for my PowerPoint presentation or my PowerPoint deck? The truth is there's a lot of philosophy and psychology behind color choices. A lot of research was done in this field in order for us to pick the right color for the right strategy. For example, red creates a sense of urgency. It also encourages appetite, which is why we see things like Coca-Cola and McDonald's frequently using the color red. We won't be covering any of that. Instead, we're going to tackle this from an easier perspective. You choose your own colors that you click with. Let me explain. There's a website and or app called Color Supply. The link is in the description. The premise of this app is simple. You have a color wheel, so you select the options that you want and spin. You will then be exposed to different colors and different schemes and different palettes that you can choose for whatever design work you'd like to do. The best thing about this is it provides sample vector images reflecting your choices so that you can see what works for you and what doesn't. When you load up the site, there are five options. First, complementary, which basically means you'll be selecting two completely different colors, all opposite from the color wheel, such as orange and blue, and they oddly complement one another. Second, we have analogous, which are colors in groups of three that are next to each other on the color wheel. One is usually the dominant color, and a good example of this would be red, orange, and then red-orange. Third, the triad, or triadic option. This color scheme uses colors that are evenly spaced around the color wheel. They are quite vibrant and show a harmony between them. A good example of this is orange, purple, and green. Number four is the split complement option. This option is a variation of the complementary color option. In addition to the base color, it uses the two different colors adjacent to its complement. It provides a strong contrast that has less tension. And finally, number five, there's the square option. You choose four colors, all evenly spaced out around the color wheel. They work best when you want one color to be the dominant color. So which one would I recommend? As far as color schemes go, the split complement option is best for beginners. You pick the dominant color that you want, then pick two colors that further complement your choice. Be sure to look at the vector images as you're spinning the wheel, so that you can see your colors come to life and how they all complement each other pretty nicely. Once you have the colors you'd like, pick the shading that you think would be best suited for your PowerPoint slides. Now, when you're all done and happy, use a snipping tool and bring that image into PowerPoint. Be sure to place it out of your slide, on the gray area, and think of it as a color palette. Look at you, you're an artist already. Remember, we are doing this for one reason. It's always easier to bring the eyedropper tool into action and then automatically register that color in PowerPoint. Now, go ahead and color whatever you'd like. Like I said, a really short video, but it's a video that addresses an important topic nonetheless. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like us to cover. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have fun, guys. Bye-bye.